WGN's Eric Rung is live at Alderman Ed Burke's ward office on the southwest side with the very latest. Eric. Well, good morning. The new details came in court documents filed yesterday by the U.S. Attorney's Office. In those documents, the government defended its prosecution of Burke and its case and the use of evidence obtained by wiretaps. While it's called a brief at 227 pages, the U.S. Attorney's court filing was anything but. In the document, the U.S. Attorney's Office responded to Alderman Ed Burke's legal team calling prosecutors overzealous in its wide-ranging corruption investigation into the longtime alderman. The U.S. Attorney said, quote, the government acted more than reasonably in investigating Burke's conduct. Burke's legal team is trying to get wiretaps thrown out. The government is fighting to keep them in. Burke is facing 14 corruption charges. He's pleaded not guilty to all of them. The feds raided the one-time dean of the city council offices back in November of 2018. And it was revealed he may have been secretly recorded by longtime city council colleague who is now believed to be a cooperating witness, former alderman Danny Solis. The government says, quote, Again and again, Burke shamelessly tied official action to his law firm's receipt of business. After yesterday's city council meeting, Mayor Lori Lightfoot once again said it's time for Burke to go. By his own words, in wiretapped conversations, Alderman Burke said and did things that not only were improper, were, it seemed to be illegal. The new court filing also revealed how the government says Burke tried to use his influence to strong arm the developers of the old main post office, an $800 million development. Burke, the U.S. attorney says, wanted them to use his law firm to appeal property taxes. The government says Burke made an anti-Semitic comment about a Jewish lawyer quoted in the document as saying, well, you know as well as I do, Jews are Jews and they'll deal with Jews to the exclusion of everybody else unless unless there's a reason for them to use a Christian. Frankly, anti-Semitism is rampant uh, and we have to push back. It's not okay. It is not to be tolerated. I don't care who it's from. Now, Burke told reporters at City Hall yesterday that any comments on the case would be made in court. We are live in Gage Park. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.